If you've ever been in a restaurant in the afternoon rush, this will be a pretty familiar scene. But one thing here is different. The restaurant slice is set up in an unused conference room in the headquarters of Grubhub, the online delivery company. Everyone working here is an employee at Grubhub. So are all the customers. It's a way for our employees to better understand how restaurant employees use our software. She wants a cinnamon cream coffee cake. What are the bugs? What are the opportunities? And really get in the mind of a restaurant. For Grubhub, this is a pretty big year. It merged with Seamless, its largest competitor. The combined company will do $1 billion in orders this year. The conference room restaurant is part of a self-imposed crash course in the food service industry. The goal is to learn more about restaurants, so that Grubhub can build technology that they'll use to process even more orders than they do today. You can process the order perfectly, you can prepare perfect food, but if the order doesn't get to your house in the right amount of time, as a diner, you're pissed off. Grubhub is using what it learns to tweak the software on tablets it passes out to restaurants. Some of the revelations seem pretty obvious. For instance, a tablet has to be really loud to be heard in a commercial kitchen. The company has also begun allowing restaurants to change their menus on the fly. It seems to be working. Thousands of restaurants are now using the tablets. Making smartphone apps for drivers is a bit more difficult. The company has had one for about a year, but it's still in the testing phase. To jumpstart things, Grubhub's director of product has been driving deliveries herself about three afternoons a week. Um, trying to navigate the landmines of getting into buildings, apartments that don't have buzzers actually working. Hi. Hi there. How are you? Good. Calling people when they're actually not answering the phone. It is a lot more challenging than I was expecting. Now Grubhub Seamless isn't the only way that restaurants can take orders online, but it is the most popular. That means the company can offer its clients more diners and more data. We saw a big interest in Indian food, for example, in metros across the country. I think it's been trending up dramatically. Restaurants should be able to know that earlier rather than later. But it's not clear that that's really what restaurants want. For many of them, the biggest concern is the commissions that Grubhub Seamless takes. They start at 10%. This has led to a lot of grumbling from restaurateurs. Still, the company's CEO says that its goal and its client's goal are the same. I don't make a dime unless you make a dollar. It's pay for play advertising. It's success based. It's very, very low risk. Now Slice doesn't have to turn a profit, and everyone here seems pretty happy. He's got a $2 tip. The restaurant gives Grubhub employees a way to get away from their desks and hang out. And of course, everyone's pretty appreciative when you show up at their desk with a fresh piece of cake.